Okay. Some of my uh, Facebook friends may remember that I did, in fact, rescue one lazy teddy. More like a hungover teddy. So I found him with no pants on. A bit like Humphrey B. Bear. <laughs> but here we go. Lazy Teddy. To finish off this show. There was nothing Lazy Teddy liked more than to be tucked up snug and warm in the spare room of Shagga Malone's drum house. Every morning the alarm clock would ring and Shagga would leap out of bed and fling open the curtains. I love mornings, he'd say, stretching his arms up high as the sun poured in through the window. You're bloody crazy. Teddy would mutter, and he'd burrow down beneath the quilt to the bottom of the bed where he'd spend the rest of the morning snoozing happily. Come out and play, you lazy bastard bear, Shagga would call. But lazy Teddy wouldn't budge. He would just snore even louder. Shagger wished that Teddy would be more lively, like his other friends' bears. He loved having adventures, but they would be even better if Teddy would share them with him. One evening, Shagger decided to have a talk with Teddy before they went to bed. He told him all about the band meeting he'd been on that day with his friends and their other teddy bears. It was lots of fun, Teddy. I wish you'd been there. We sacked the bass player and everything. It really is time you stop being such a dirty bastard. Tomorrow is my birthday and I'm having a party. There'll be bands, they'll be all doing door takes and all that. I'm, I promised them one beer and, all that, and uh, beer and presents and ice cream too. Okay, from the local brewery sort of thing. And editing cordial as well. Please promise you'll come. It does sound like fun, said Teddy, but it's just another bloody door take, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm going back to bloody bed. But I promise I'll get up just this once because you promised me a free beat on the band rider. Right yeah. The next morning, Shagger was up bright and early. Yippee, it's my birthday today, he yelled. We got a gig and started dancing around the room. He pulled the covers off his bed. Come on, Teddy, time to get up. Just five more minutes, groaned Teddy, and he rolled over and fell straight back to sleep. When Shagger came back up to his room after breakfast, Teddy still wasn't up. Well, by now, Shagger was getting quite cross with Teddy. He reached over and poked him in the tummy. Teddy opened one eye and growled. Wake up, Teddy. You promised, remember, said Shagger. Teddy yawned. Oh, if I must. It's another bloody door take, isn't it? he said. And muttering and grumbling, he climbed out of bed. He washed his face and paws, brushed his teeth, tuned his drum set and put on his best red waistcoat. There, I'm ready, he said. Good, said Shagger. About time too. Just then the doorbell rang and Shagger ran to answer it. I'll come and fetch you in a minute, he said to Teddy. But when he returned, there was no sign of Teddy, just a gentle snoring coming from the bottom of the bed. Shagger was so cross and upset with Lazy Teddy that he decided to leave him right where he was. You'll just have to miss the door take party, he said. Deep down though, he was hurt that Teddy wouldn't keep his promise. Shagger enjoyed his party. Didn't pay anyone, gave everyone a free beer though. Although, he wished that Teddy had been there. That night, when he got into bed, he lay crying, crying quietly into his pillow. Teddy lay awake in the dark, listening. He knew Shagger was crying because he had let him down and he felt very ashamed of himself. I'm sorry, whispered Lazy Teddy, and he snuggled up to Shagger and stroked him with a paw until he fell asleep. <clears throat> the next morning when the alarm clock rang, Shagger leapt out of bed as usual. But what was this? Teddy had leapt out of bed too and was stretching his paws up high. Shagger looked at him in amazement. What are we go doing today then? Asked Teddy. G -g 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 going for a picnic? Stammered Shagger in surprise. Are you coming? Of course, said Teddy. 
of course, I'm in the band and, and, and the person who's putting on the picnic paid us all the money, all the right money that we asked for. The money. So I'm up bright and early. Oh, and I'm learning songs for the picnic and everything. Oh, we're getting paid well too. Plus we have dinner and all that. The only problem is we've got to play that fucking chicken dance again. With a little bit of this and a little bit of that. da 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 oh, eh, eh. Yeah. And he was up every day. And from that day on, Teddy was up bright and early to enjoy another day of adventures with his drums and getting paid properly. And he never let Shag it down again. The end. (laughs) And that was my show tonight. The end.